There's a lot of drugs in our family. A lot of arguing and fighting. My mom sits at home, my dad goes to work every day. We were actually currently homeless. Okay. Uh, my sister, I, I don't know too much about her right now. I think she's pretty heavily into the drugs. We just sit around and watch TV all the time. Sit there and play on the computer, do the old basic stuff. <laughs> my oldest brother, I don't really know where he's at right now. I went backpacking with Peak 7 <laughs> during the summer. I went on a backpacking trip with Peak 7. Peak 7 started from a burden that I had, um, that Christ had put on my heart. To, to get kids into the wilderness. Technology is, is everywhere, and these kids are at home watching TV and playing Xbox 360 and not getting outside like they should. Our hopes is to expose them to the wilderness uh, and the beauty that is out there. We're dealing with kids that are coming out of almost abject poverty situations right here in the heart of our city. Basically what we do is we take what God has said is good and immerse these kids in that goodness and at least get them opened up and use that as an avenue to expose the, uh, the kids to God through His creation and hopefully by doing that we can open up a, uh, a relationship or at least a dialogue with them about Christ. Our desire is to partner with organizations and um, also just work with youth that could not afford to um, go on these trips. Partnering with uh, a ministry like Peak 7 is a unique opportunity for the kids here that we're serving because they normally otherwise wouldn't be able to have opportunities like this. These kids haven't spent any time outdoors. They would go to the woods to run away, um, basically from their homes. We do two main things. We do backpacking and rafting trips for the adolescents. So you take this kid who's lived in an urban neighborhood all of his life and you take him into this wilderness experience where he is um, being challenged physically, spiritually, and emotionally. So what we do is we remove all, all the things that the kids are used to. Get them out into the outdoors. You know, we put them on a river, something they're not used to. Putting them into a situation where they really have to trust either their guides or the other people in the raft. So it builds that trust relationship where the kids are able to open up. That's huge for these kids to come away um, and work together through team building. And I really believe that, you know, if you can force um, kids out of something that they're accustomed to, it's going to cause change. The outdoors, you drop everything and you're put in a position where, um, you know, all that matters is hiking up to the next point or you're, you're cooking food or you're setting up camp or whatever. We want to give them something to be proud of at the end of their trip. Um, you know, they're doing a, a big, long, um, you know, five-day hike uh, where they're summoning a peak um, and they're, they're really pushing their body. Um, so they feel a, sen a sense of accomplishment. With the rafting, you know, you've conquered a river. Uh, you've been down, you know, this, this raging white water. And you can see the, in the pictures, they're scared to death. They're like, oh, scared. And then by the end of the trip, they're like, yeah, we've had so much fun. And, you know, as a light bulb went on, like, hey, there's actually fun to be had in this world. You know, not everything is, is dark. So, you know, just getting them exposed to something other than just the, you know, the bad environment that they're in and showing them that there's really is hope out there that they can do something else than maybe what their parents have done or the life situation that they find themselves in. With this, you get to take them into God's wilderness and, and show them his beauty, his creation, um, and be able to, to to really pour into their lives and, and, get, and build relationships with these kids to uh, teach them about the kingdom of God and the hope that there is in Jesus Christ. I don't think they would ever have the opportunity to do this if it weren't for Peak 7 donating the trips for us. That was one of the funnest trips I ever went on. Really enjoyed going uh, on the hiking trip. We, we made some great friendships along the way. 
So fun, I'll do it 10 times again. Getting closer to God was, was my favorite. In order to accomplish our vision here at Peak 7, we really need partners and teammates who would be willing to pray and uh, give her the resources so that uh, we can continue to offer these kids the opportunity, no matter what their background is, the opportunity to come face to face with our Heavenly Father.